According to special relativity, time travel into the future is possible. In science fiction, we have time machines, which allow us to go anywhere we want into the past or the future. In reality, though, as far as we know, only time travel into the future is possible. And it would work like this. Imagine we have two identical twins. One of them gets into a rocket and travels to a star 10 light years away. She moves at 80% the speed of light. When she gets to the star, she turns around and comes back at the same speed. 25 years will have elapsed on Earth, yet only 15 years for the traveler. When she gets out of her spaceship, she's surprised to see that her identical twin has aged an extra 10 years. Theoretically, if you could get your rocket going near the speed of light, and you went as far as the Andromeda galaxy and came back, millions of years will have elapsed on Earth, yet the trip might only take you a few weeks. Now, if you've heard anything about relativity, I'm guessing you've heard moving clocks run slow. And that's a great way to remember how things are different between two frames of reference. But you have to remember that it works both ways. Imagine I zoom past you in my car. From your point of view, you're standing still, I'm doing the moving. And so you observe that my clock is running slow. And that is correct. But from my point of view, my clock is not running slow. In fact, I'm not moving. You and the road are moving past me. I notice that your clock is running slow. And that is also correct. Now this has been confirmed with a lot of experimental evidence. And understanding this, I can now explain what is the twin paradox. According to what I said, each twin should see the other's clock running slow. So why is it that when the trip is over, one twin is 10 years older than the other? One standard explanation is that the symmetry was broken. The rocket twin experiences g-forces to speed up, to do the turnaround, to slow down. The Earth twin never experienced those forces. To me, that explanation is not good enough. Okay, so things are different, so what? Why is it the Earth twin who ages the extra 10 years? Why not the other way around? To make things more confusing, they said it was the g-forces that broke the symmetry. That made me think they were considering the effects of general relativity. In general relativity, we know that accelerating clocks run slow. But that didn't make any sense. You could have the same accelerations for a short trip as for a long trip. The long trip would just have more coasting. And the way we calculated the age difference between the twins we only needed to know the speed and the distance traveled. To find out more, I took a course in relativity. There we ignored the acceleration. We assumed the rocket could change speed instantly. We're only interested in the effects of special relativity. We did a thought experiment where each twin would send out a radio signal every second. Ping, ping, ping. Those could represent their heartbeats. And then we would count how many pings each one would receive. On the outbound leg of the trip, each twin would receive the other's pings at the same lowered frequency, less than once per second. There's two reasons why the frequency would be lower. One is because each other's clock is running slow, and the other is due to Doppler shift. These two effects are combined into a single relativistic Doppler shift equation. So far, everything is symmetric. Then the twin gets to the star, and she does the turnaround. At that time, she notices her ping frequency go up. She's now getting pings faster than once per second. Meanwhile, back at Earth, that twin continues to get low-frequency pings for 10 more years. After everything is done, we calculate how many pings each one got from the other. Both twins agree that it's the Earth twin who ages the extra 10 years. After seeing this calculation, I was still not happy. We had counted how many pings the Earth twin had sent and received. We had counted how many pings the rocket twin had sent and received. But we did all of that from the Earth point of view, where the rocket went out and came back. I figured if we looked at it from the rocket's point of view, it was the Earth that went out and came back. And it would be the rocket twin who aged the extra 10 years. And I found out I could actually force this by allowing something absurd to happen. Going back to the Earth's point of view, when the rocket did the turnaround, that twin noticed the ping frequency go up. So to be symmetric, when the Earth went out and did the turnaround, it would be the Earth twin who would notice the ping frequency go up. And that is absurd. I finally understand how this breaking of symmetry thing works. It has to be the rocket twin who sees the ping frequency go up at the turnaround. And when you work the problem that way, you get the same answer no matter which frame of reference you use. The trick is in understanding why it has to be the rocket twin who noticed the ping frequency go up 10 years before the Earth twin. In general, when they're approaching, they will each get high frequency pings from each other. And when they're going apart, they'll each get low frequency pings. But when the rocket twin did the turnaround, she was 10 light years away. 
At that time, there were all these pings spread out in space between the two points, going in both directions. If the rocket twin would have stopped transmitting at the turnaround, the Earth twin would continue to get pings for 10 more years, and they would all be at the lower frequency because they were all transmitted while the rocket was moving away. On the other hand, the rocket twin notices the ping frequency go up right away because she just turned around and is now going back into those pings head on. If you've never understood relativity and would like to, I recommend watching the teaching company course on relativity. Anyone who's made it through middle school can easily understand it by watching this short DVD course. Relativity is as certain as death and taxes and understanding it is way more fun.